talk about family a lot, okay? Hey, you all done a great job being there for CJ this week. We know it's a tough week, okay? And we know she's looking down on top of all of us today. Love you, baby. Yeah, it was a good game, obviously, for us. Uh, it was good to get a, our first conference win. It was a big day for the offense. You know, we started off hot, which we that you know, was one of our goals was to come in and uh, you know put up some numbers and, and give us the best chance to win, and, and we did that. So obviously, it's a new week now. Uh, we got a big one in Tulane in New Orleans. I just got to continue uh, to stack wins in this conference, and you know, hopefully, make a run at this thing. Uh, last game, it just it just meant a lot because um, I lost my grandma earlier that week. It's still like a hard thing to deal with when uh, when they actually go. So uh, just being with the team just it just made me feel so much better about the situation. So I, I mean, I continue to practice. I continue to come and see the boys because like. There's, there's nothing like the locker room. It always puts a smile on your face, and um, just this game was this this game was all for her, just in her um, in her honor, and she was watching over me. I I give all that glory to her. And the four touchdowns that was that was amazing. Like I, it, at, in a moment, it just didn't seem real. Like I was just like, sheesh, like. Like this feels like what me and Howie used to do in high school. Like, <laughs> like you don't see these numbers like that in college. We're expected to um, just dominate, dominate anybody that we play, and uh, just come aggressive. And like Coach says, uh, we meet everything with violence and consistency. It's just every day getting better and better and working on ourselves. We don't uh, don't we don't downplay the opponent. We don't we don't upplay the opponent. We go out of practice every day getting better, 1% better for ourselves. You know, that's one thing that we talked about Sunday was uh, stacking days, you know, stacking games for us offensively. And, um, you know, in the past year, you know, we've had one good game and then, or one great game and then, you know, not followed it up with, you know, another great game. So, you know, our goal this week is to, um, to do even better than we did this Saturday and just continue to stack wins, like I said, and, uh, you know, put our team in the best position as possible to win. Oh man, me and Houghton, we played uh, three years together prior to um, prior to college, and uh, I know it's it's big in Greenville just to see uh, me and him connect the way we do, and for such a long period of time, people have been watching us since we were 16, 17 years old. So uh, yeah, that's just it's just amazing, like just just to see where what we used to talk about and to see what we're doing now. It's it's been cool to to kind of grow up together, um, and you know a lot of people have. You know, kind of seen us growing up, you know, under the spotlight here in Greenville from high school and ninth grade, you know, 14 years old to you know, now playing together now and um, doing what we're doing now. So it's been super cool um, to, you know, our goal here was to come here and change this place, you know, to get the fans back in the stands, to get back to winning ways. So, you know, to do it together has been super special, um, especially for us, but also, you know, people in Greenville to see that as well. Okay. I'm Jake Kirkendall, football chief of staff here at East Carolina University. Jake literally is the person who keeps ECU football running. Uh, I mean, he's the one behind the scenes doing literally everything, anything and everything, whether it's even just as simple as getting cups in the players' lounge, stuff like that, to scheduling our trips. It's going to be a lot of meals, wheels, taking care of uh, anything off the field. It's definitely not con plays. It's, it's a big part of having a lot of communication with a lot of individuals. Um, it's not all myself that has to do all this work. Um, obviously there's a great team behind us um, that's off field, um, whether it's from our strength staff, our video staff, um, our full operations team, creative, player development, nutrition, and athletic training. We all get together um, once a week. We talk about all the details because the biggest thing is to anticipate issues and avoid a lot of distractions um, that, is, that could happen could distract whether it's a coach or a player and how their mindset is set for a game going forward. Road trips start immediately as soon as we know the uh, schedule. I mean, that's usually about six months in advance. And that's basically lining up your uh, air transportation, your buses, and your hotels. Um, usually that's done in the springtime. And I like to go in advance and try to uh, look at some of these um, airlines where we fly into 
and then also to the hotels um, as well to kind of pick the right place for us for how we want to operate on the road. So, you know, this week, uh, South Florida, obviously, we were supposed to play in Tampa, and we had to go to a whole different city, uh, fly down to a whole different city, find a new hotel. He did all that within just a few days. Um, so he's, he's definitely the best and always, uh, you know, has the best interest of us. Yeah, Jake, he's a, Jake's the man. He, uh, like, like Hold said, like everything is controlled through Jake. And honestly, if we didn't have Jake, I don't think the program would be still up and running. With uh, what we have coming up this Saturday night, very, very strong football team, uh, very solid in all three phases. Um, yeah, they're a really good football team. Uh, they're one of the top defenses in the nation, one of the top defenses we'll play all year. Um, obviously, I mean, they're four and one, so it's a big conference game for us, you know, playing at their place. You know, hopefully our fans travel really well, and um, we're excited to go down there and, and play a really good football team at their place. And, you know, you just got to play good and have a chance to win in the fourth quarter. Uh, we've scouted them. They uh, obviously rank defense, best uh, best defense that we're going to probably play this year. So uh, we come in to accept that challenge. And um, like I said, just, just do us. Like, Nobody can beat a pirate when they're being a pirate.